I, I asked him, well, where do you want to meet? Well, he suggested the lobby bar. This was in mid-July 1997. I then took the train to Washington, D.C. When I checked into the room, I was shocked. Um, I had a palatial suite, and the bellman, I said to the bellman, there's got to be some mistake. But he insisted that there was no mistake. I later found out that Mr. Kane had arranged for the suite, though at the time I thought maybe my boyfriend had tried to surprise me. I met Mr. Kane in the lobby of the bar at the Capitol Hilton at around 6.30 p.m. We had drinks at the hotel, and he asked how I liked my room, uh, which is kind of normal, and I, was very, I said I was very surprised. I said, I can't believe it. I've got this great suite. It's gorgeous. Um, Mr. Kane kind of smirked and then said, I upgraded you. He then took me to an Italian restaurant where we had dinner. During dinner, Ms. Mr. Kane looked at me and said, why are you here? I said, actually, Herman, my boyfriend, whom you met, suggested that I meet with you because he thought you could help me because I really need a job. I was wondering if there's anything available at the state association level or perhaps if you could speak to someone at the foundation to try to get my job back, perhaps even in a different department. He said, I'll look into that. He, while we were driving back to the hotel, he said that he would show me where the National Restaurant Association offices were. He parked the car down the block. I thought that we were going to go into the offices so that he could show me around. At that time, I had on a black pleated skirt, a suit jacket, and a blouse. He had on a, a suit with his shirt, op with his sh shirt open. But instead of going into the offices, he suddenly reached over and he put his hand on my leg, <coughs> under my skirt, and reached for my genitals. He also grabbed my head and brought it towards his crotch. I was very, very surprised and very shocked. I said, what are you doing? I, you know I have a boyfriend. This isn't what I came here for. Mr. Kane said, you want a job, right? I asked him to stop, and he did. I asked him to take me back to my hotel, which he, he did right away. When I returned to New Jersey, where I was staying with my boyfriend that Mr. Kane had been, I told, when I was staying, when I returned back to New Jersey, where I was staying, I told my boyfriend Mr. Kane had been very sexually inappropriate with me, and shortly thereafter, I told another friend of mine who has been a mentor the same thing. I didn't tell them the details because, quite frankly, I was very embarrassed uh, that Mr. Kane had been sexually inappropriate to me. The last time